what's up YouTube this is your girl Sion. um I was updating my blog and I realized that it's been a minute since I've done a YouTube video so um just letting y'all know I'm still here I'm still pushing through I know I mentioned in my last video going on my that I had a lot of things going on personally that were kind of had me distracted and things like that so um I gave myself a break and I reevaluated and pretty much got myself together and I'm back so yay um still doing wedding planning although my date changed to a week later the place we actually wanted to have the ceremony at it well the place I wanted to have a ceremony at was fine for September 29th, but he's being really picky, so we ended up having to move some place that allowed alcohol in a bigger place, which, yeah, I'm not even going to get into that, but we decided on a different place, and it wasn't available for our original date, so we're actually going to get married on October the 6th, which is only a week later, so it's not really that bad. Um, wedding planning has been going really fun, really my mama is so excited like she has been in major takeover mode but i'm leaving her alone about that because she she's enjoying it so whatever um i'm doing a challenge that instead of it actually coming up to do a challenge i'm already in the middle of a challenge that i started last week normally i know when i do videos it's getting ready for challenges and that's my baby i have to call him back in a second but um Pretty much it was, he completely distracted me. Yeah, I had to call him back in a second. But basically, challenge is what I mean. Challenge. Um, I get married in six months. And my goal is not necessarily a numeric goal. Although it's a certain amount of pounds I want to lose. That's not my ultimate goal. And like I said, I hadn't been weighing as much as I wanted to because I wasn't really feeling the numbers on the scale so where I am now I wanted to lose 100 pounds now as I said that's not my goal weight to be in 100 pounds but it's kind of like it gives me something to focus on over the next couple months instead of just the wedding I can focus on getting myself healthier and starting my new life off as a wife being pretty much healthier than I have been a long time six months is actually a really it's a doable time frame. Like, I'm not trying to lose 100 pounds in three months, four months. Six months is actually a really doable goal. It comes down to right about four pounds per week. And normally when I do, like I stay on plan, I exercise and things like that, I actually lose between four to six pounds a week. So, it's doable. Um, and actually I started, normally when I do my challenges, I wait till like the next Monday, the next Sunday, the first of the month, things like that to start. But I started last um last week i think last tuesday i started tracking so i'm not doing any one plan in particular pretty much i'm watching what i eat sticking to 1200 to 1400 calories a day drinking buku water and exercising um to track my exercising it's on my heart rate monitor and this is actually my workout for today and as I'm, I, that's why I was updating my blog. So if I can give y'all my calorie burn for today, if I can get to it. My goal for, yeah, pretty much I wanted to, it's going to be backwards, but it's to burn 3,500 calories a week, which I actually want to do that twice. So um, I have 2,479 calories left to go for this week and for today's workout, if I can get it pulled up. Yeah. I did the biggest loser workout and it kicked my ass. Not even gonna lie. And I burned 654 calories for today. Yeah, I'm tired. And my total burnt so far is 1020. It looks like a five, but it's 1021 calories. And that was for 38 minutes this morning. And I actually have more to do this evening, but it's debatable. Um, as far as workout wise, I'm just trying to burn between 500 to 1000 calories per day. Um, that's with Turbo Jam, Turbo Fire, the Julian Michaels workouts. Pretty much 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening. More on either end if I can, but a minimum of 30 in the morning, 30 in the evening, and watch what I eat through the day. And I've noticed that it's really not that hard 
I weighed in on Friday and I had lost 8.4 pounds so like I said it's doable and all I did last week was I tracked all my calories through my fitness pal go to bed and yesterday was terrible um I ate on plan all week except for yesterday yesterday I had Chick-fil-A for breakfast I had we go for lunch. I had Panera Bread for lunch. I had McDonald's after work. Then we had Taco Bell for dinner. Yeah, I just ate out all day yesterday. <laughs> that wasn't a good thing. But I was honest and I tracked all my calories. I think it ended up being like 4,000 calories total for the day, including my workout. So, yeah, it was, it, it was kind of bad. So... <laughs> stupid but like pretty much he no not he distracts me so excuse that but um pretty much it's like every time I look at my phone I get distracted so y'all have to excuse me on that like okay, yeah it's I keep a journal which is not like any particular journal it's just it's a journal I got from books a million it's one of the little pretty ones it has my initial on it so that I yeah I'm gonna get it for you hold on one second Okay, back to what I was saying before I was so fully interrupting myself. But basically, what I did was this is the little front page. And like I said, it's really it's just a notebook from Books Means. Got my initial on it, was $7. And basically, I wrote the reason why on the front page. It's going from, I started on March 23rd into October the 5th, which is the day before my wedding. And pretty much my goal is to be better than I am. And at this point, I was investing the next six months into becoming the best person I could be because well, I'm getting married pretty much. Um, my goals were to increase stamina and endurance, to have more energy, to bring my heels out of exile. Um, my goal was to reach a size 14, 16 at the end. And I want to get as close to... Well, 199 things that as possible. What do you want to say? I, my goal is to lose 100 pounds in six months. I'm not saying I'll hit that goal, but I want to get as close as possible. If I hit 199, honey, I'm happy anyway. So, um, and I wrote down some breakfasts like that were under, well, most of these were under 350 calories, lunches that were under 400 calories, some snacks, and pretty much when I was weighing in and things like that which I forgot to put on here so oh and pretty much at that point it was to the goal was to lose 4.2 pounds per week but actually when I weighed in Friday I was at 8.4 pounds now so I only got 92 pounds left to go um, also I put some hair goals in here since um, my three months natural as of Wednesday and my hair has actually grown pretty good. Um, the last time I did a video, I had my kikis was in. And I'm sure y'all can see. Shrinkage is great in uh, natural hair. But my hair has grown out so much. And I actually took pictures to compare that for y'all. Um, also, I put up. I had a pair of size 24, 26. I've had these pants so long. I've, I've literally washed the tag out of it because I love these pants. Um, I got ready to work out of them Tuesday. And literally, I walked completely out of them. They are huge. I have a picture that I'm going to put up as well. And that's kind of what motivated me because although pretty much weight goals are just something for you personally. You don't walk around with your weight stamped on your forehead. But if you get out of breath doing stuff and things, people can tell that. If you sit in a chair and you overlap the chair, people can tell stuff like that. So weight is something that's kind of relative to where you want to be personally. Me, myself, I've been 200 plus pounds since I was like 12, like literally. I was 220 pounds at age, I was in 6th grade, 6th or 7th grade. So, I've always been a big girl. So, getting under 220 is a major, I'm 26. So, for the past 13 years, I've been 220 plus pounds. So, that would be a huge accomplishment for me. So, weight-wise, it's not necessarily a goal. 199 would be great to see, but if I hit 219, I'm happy. So, that's why I said the 100 pounds is kind of uh, just a general goal. If I get closer, I would be closer to my ultimate goal. But, overall, it's just I want to be healthier. So, all I do 
is on a daily basis just right now what I eat right now what is my head at day um, I've also been trying to make sure I dress up more lately so I've been putting that in here too as well as what I do to my hair and my skin right because I want to have clear skin for my um I didn't wait in here. I don't have Chris for my wedding. So yeah. Um this is the oh, yeah. my bad. And I dropped you. This is the Julian Michaels 90 Day Body Revolution. These are actually phase two and three that was on top of my DVD player. Came in this cute little box that actually was a whole lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. But basically these are the ones I do in the morning. Um each workout is 30 minutes. And I'm going to show you like the phases. Pretty much each phase has the same little setup. It's just in different colors. But you get the four, so four, yeah, four workouts and a cardio DVD go for each 30 days. So that's what I'm doing currently. Um, on phase one, which is in my room on top of my DVD player. So I'm not going to hit that. Um, the only other thing I want to update on was my hair. Um, I actually colored it last week. So been trying to make sure I stay on top of my moisturization because I know natural hair can get dry and color hair can get dry so natural color hair will probably be really prone to dryness um basically color wash as I feel like which is normally every so every other day I have probably have enough hair to do like a side puff which I did yesterday came out so cute um I also did some I also did some two strand twists which came out really well. I actually haven't been really enjoying playing with my hair and as it's getting longer it's more styles I'm able to do so I had plans to do a like two to three week break and I was actually supposed to get my hair braided on this coming Wednesday but I think I'm actually going to just let my hair stay out and enjoy it growing. Um, products I'm using now are the As I Am Naturally, the Kansu leave-in treatment my oils like castor oil coconut oil grapeseed oil olive oil and the grow oil i'm still using it and i also got this recently this is the be mine hair growth serum and mango which um i was gonna try that for because it it's actually it's cheaper than the grow out oil and i wanted to see if it worked because i've tried sulfur products before that work pretty well for my hair so i may try this for a while and this is an eight ounce bottle it was like well i got a discount code discount codes work great a lot <laughs> but um for eight ounces of grow out oil i normally pay right about i want to say twenty twenty five dollars and that's a discount code from Hair Lisa. And with this discount code, it was like $19 plus the shipping. Well, included with the shipping was 1986. And it's also so it saves about five dollars. And it's got coconut oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, select Ayurvedic herbs, essential oils, fragrance, and vitamin E. Heard some really great things about the um Be My Serum, so I wanted to try that out. Um my hair is like right here now with me actually and I have some of the best shrinkage so my hair is actually now to right here and of course it shrinks like that's just